What is going on my fellow Keyblade Wielders, Kid Dante here, and I'm sorry for my absence for the past couple of days. Just kind of needed a woosah, but I'm back and I'm better. <laughs> but in today's video, I'm here to do a metal showcase on Aqua and Stitch. I know, why am I showcasing a metal that I already guilted rather than work on one that I don't have guilted that's brand new? True, but then again, this metal needs to be shown off again. Okay, at first glance, you think that this metal is actually useless because it's no cost and yeah. But then again, no cost metals, in my opinion, turn out to be the best metals. The copy metals, the SP gatherer metals, ones like that, they actually turn out to be the most useful metals in the game. But people, this metal right now pressed on upon that. Now, I hope when they made this metal, they meant for it to be this way, because this metal is probably the deadliest zero-cost metal in the game. I'm excluding copy metals, of course, because they can turn out to be any metal in under the sun. But this people is probably the deadliest zero-cost metal as of now. The reason why I say it is because it hits three times, it is random, it has a multiplier of... 2.37 all the way to a four times multiplier so if you're lucky yeah this metal might do more damage than you expect it to um, actually do it does that it it is a stab booster PSM and general attack boost by one tier for three turns so yeah if you have second strike on this metal like I do it actually might work as a support metal as well which is really really well so it's a, an attack metal, it's a support, and it's a stat booster. This, people, is pretty much a multi-purpose metal. As far as skills, you can pretty much put... Well, let me hold off on saying anything, because triple threat won't be the best skill to give this metal. Because it hits random, and you don't want to hit the same enemy twice inflicting status buffs. Second chance, defense boost, and attack boost, those all work very well for this metal. I do recommend, well, if you're real precautious about your safety, then second chance and defense boost will work best for you. But if you're someone like me who likes to one turn everything, then attack boost of any sort will work out just fine. Alright guys, so right now I'm going to show you guys exactly how deadly this metal can get. Okay, let me set up some scenarios for you guys as far as this metal. As you guys saw, that was against a single target, meaning this metal truly shines versus a one -on, on a one-on-one -on -one fight. Now it gets to the crowd, it depends on how much health each of the enemies has. But as you guys saw, this metal hurts. It inflicts a lot of damage within those three hits. So it's capable of picking off a lot of enemies that have medium to low health. So if you're fighting a bunch of enemies with like low health or around that ballpark, yeah, you're going to pick them off very, very quickly. 
And if you have second chance, who knows, you might even pick off a couple of more as well. But that's why I say that this is a multi-purpose metal. It's capable of doing fulfilling all those criteria. As far as I know, I think making this metal to a Lux Farmer would actually be around that ballpark. But here's the thing, I want to raid boss damage plus 40% on this metal at least one, just so it'll fit that criteria. If it ended up getting that, without a doubt I would make this a farmer. Unfortunately it didn't get that, so I would just use it as a universal metal for storyline quests or whatnot. So yeah, to all my NA brethren, do not skip this VIP metal. I'm telling you this guys right now, do not skip this. There's going to be a lot of VIP medals that you don't approve of, but this is definitely one you do not want to sleep out on. It is a phenomenal metal. And as you guys saw, yeah, it is pretty deadly for a zero cost at that. Anyways, guys, I hope you're having a fantastic day. This is Kid Dante, signing off.